Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolfszeit channel. Today with an indeed very special topic, <coughs> always special, because someone wrote me that Vada is beside Toxai, the most useless city ever. And we will look closely to that if that is true or not. The political use of Vada. Is it worth it to hold? Is the whole area worth it? Is it strategic or is it useless? So let's look closer to the trading and traveling routes itself. So first off we have Vada there and around Vada you have a lot of spawns, for example, um, beer spawn, wolf Wolves, uh, Razorbacks, Bush Pigs, Bandits and you have the Spider Dungeon not far away and a few Tecmatons to farm and also the Horsebone is not far away. So all the orange lines here are um, um, for example just, just some, some um, roads people take for example and here the line to the Zoologist and then we also have the other Bandit Camp. People often combine these two Bandit Camps when they are farming and also um, the, the Horsebone here. But the much more interesting region is the south of Vada because of the Spider Valley because in the Spider Valley there are are a uh, few bandit camps and people yeah you can also also go go there over uh, over to Vada there are a few ways to Vada but uh, the most convenient way is the is the pass but um, yeah it, it depends on where the people actually walk of course so so often people combine also the two bandit camps and then uh, going into a circle in the farming mode Vada's population is not very high compared to other cities so of course uh, there's trading of course uh, there there are stuff sold there but um, it's it's not so much uh, like for example in uh, Bhakti so there's a trading route from Bhakti and a trading route from Moki so this pass here is of course a choke point then we can also add uh, the lines to uh, Miduli and to uh, Tindrim. For example, if I come from Tindrim and I need to uh, getting shit done in Vada, then I taking this route. Maybe not directly to uh, through the bandit camps. Or if you want to go high risk, you can go through four bandit camps and uh, getting uh, slayed by anyone. Or you can just avoid that and go um, a little bit different. But the safest route is exactly the route from Miduli to Vada. Not not near Miduli because there's Koto. But um, you also have some other options for example if you are at the, at the middle of the valley here um, there's a pretty safe route and normally the people in the area are not complete assholes so sometimes it also depends on the daytime one of the safest time zones is uh, with GMT plus uh, 2 from 9 to uh, 1 o'clock 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for European time this is perfect because not many people play in that time zone because 40% of all um, the players are American players and for them uh, the 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 time zone is very shit and especially around Vada there are guilds uh, that have the, exactly that time zone so the safest area to to farm is actually with GMT zero Greenwich time from 7 o'clock in the morning so 7 a.m. to about 11 a.m. or 11 o'clock in the um, uh, morning in the midday yeah so basically if you look at all that and um, there are of course a few joke points around Vada and uh, there's a smiley face in the sausage lake so if you look at our political map um, of course, this can change over time. If you see that video in a few years, maybe they are completely different guilds, no problem. And I will not comment on the guilds anyway. So, for example, if you want to siege the low keep that is near the sausage lake in the middle, then Vada is a very good strategic point for that because it's an NPC city and it can't be sieged away. Of course, a forwarding operating base with, uh, for example, a medium house or stuff like that to hold all the siege equipment and shit would be a more viable option, but it's it's so close near Vada that this is actually a valid point to store their uh, siege supply and uh, the owner of uh, the low keep should get um, the taxes from the from the um, um, little houses around and it should also get the taxes from Vada because that is something Henrik promised but I don't know if that is currently implemented I, I, I guess not but um, there there should be the broker uh, a part of the broker taxes should go to the to the low keep owners at least uh, that is something Henrik said over a year ago but um, I guess he forgot that I don't know so capturing Vada with a guild that is not not, not the guild on the sausage lake. Uh, that is uh, nearly impossible because of the of the circles. So uh, so um, if you want to control Vada, the only option is to control the Sausage Lake Keep, and this makes it extremely difficult to obtain for a guild to make their own rules with the Territorial Control 2 and 3 update. I'm really looking forward to the Territorial Control 2 and 3 update because uh, this will maybe change something. I mean, uh, their blacklist will come back. At least that is something uh, that is uh, floating around that rumor. Uh, I, I, I I I have no confirmation from Henrik that the blacklist system will come back. But I mean I mean it's a sandbox game so we should have a fucking blacklist system in my opinion for all who don't know the blacklist system was something for example a guild is controlling vada for example and can just say no we blacklist you and all guards will attack you on site this sounds on paper like a very good idea 
This also is practical, a very good idea, because that, that really breeds conflict. The, on the other hand, it's like if you're playing uh, years on years on Vada and someone is throwing you out the city, you are pretty pissed. But uh, that is how the political landscape of Mortal was uh, evolving all the time. And we also don't know what Star Wars will patch into the game. Maybe Vada will be a lot more viable, because right now it's not... Uh, it's not... Uh, how should I say it? It's perfect to get a granum here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have some Bura not so far away and Kalks also not so far away. So this is also a very good spot uh, actually to make um, steel. And maybe, maybe there will be the Tefra cave back from Mortal Online 1. In Mortal Online 1, there was a Tefra cave near Vada. This was a whole dungeon with a few traps in there and three Tefra nodes. There were, there were three nodes where you could gather Tefra from and people fought down there all the time about, around, about the, the Tefra nodes and stuff like that. Of course, Tefra in Vada is not worth a lot because the problem is you need a great Anatorus and a blast furnace actually to make Cronite and Ogmium could only make a very tiny bit of 3% or something like that um, without the great Anatorus and without the blast furnace but this is not fucking worth it but, uh, but 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 in general people fought over the Tefra anyway because because if, if you want to make something like tank steel then this is working perfectly so if they implement that then the strategic value increases of Vada of course or the the, the, the value for your guildmates or for whoever owns the city but currently ar ar around Vada are only the bandit camps the spider valley a few tagmatons and that's it that is the stuff that is pretty near Vada and uh, all the other um, the other good stuff is not very near of course you can farm some rare things fish in the sausage lake and also at the two lakes landmark the Vada graveyard is pretty okay for new players because it's it's uh, in an okay reach of the city and what is also pretty interesting is you have the zoologist the zoology master that's selling all the zoology books not all but uh, a lot of zoology books um, very near because the, that guy is in the spider valley so this is also something and because of the close more or less close range to to the meduli area and stuff you have um, access to desert horse very cheap desert horses. I mean, if I want a desert horse in fucking gold core, I, I cry my eyes out. If that their thing dies, I cry my eyes out. But a desert horse um, in, in Vada is uh, a lot cheaper than compared to a mooring core, or I don't know. But uh, this will maybe change when the bull horses will come into the game, because you need to breed um, um, desert horses and bull horses to get the best horses ever. And they didn't even add it to the rare spawns. I mean, what about the rare desert horses? What about the rare bull horses? What about the very rare spawns of uh, animals and i want my weasels back and my my white rabbit i want my white rabbit back yeah i said white not right it's not the right rabbit yeah anyway anyway I, I i guess i will stop now so yeah please leave your opinion about vada in the comments and please leave a like and subscribe and share the video with your friends would be awesome ring 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 the bell and vote oh yeah vote i, I forgot to say uh, to vote yeah the links are all in the description so special thanks to all the supporters of course carmel professor lucario ronos patanax chrome giovanni marcus with greta you and all the others, of course. And never forget to make Vada hard. <laughs> mm. I mean, party hard. I mean, party hard. Party hard. <laughs> See you all next time. Goodbye.